Okay, guys, yes. March comes in like a lion. Episode 1. Um, live reaction should be on YouTube, but if it's not, check out the link in the description to check it out. Um, I mean, what can I say? This, uh, we were introduced to um, Ray Kiriyama, and uh, he was living by himself. It doesn't really seem like he has any family. Uh, I almost thought that maybe the three girls was his family, but uh, as the episode went on, I, I didn't think so. So I started not, not to really think so. Um, it seems as if they are, you know, I guess, friends of his, you know, um, and, you know, it's these three sisters, and I guess they live with their, their grandpa, and, um, their, the three sisters' grandma, uh, passed away, and also their mom, um, we saw that when, I guess, the, one of the smallest ones, what was her name, uh, what was it, uh, was it, was it Kira or Akira, one, one of those, one was the oldest one, I believe, and then it was, uh, Hinata and Momo, Momo was the real small one, always energetic and stuff like that, she was, uh, kind of the, the, the cute character and shit, uh, the older sister, smashable, just is what it is, but anyways, um, yeah, that was the situation, and, uh, it seems like Ray himself is really, really, really bothered by something, uh, that's happened to him, and he seems a bit lost, uh, he, he's carrying some type of burden or weight on his shoulders that it's not really clear yet, um, you know, like, we didn't even really hear him speak until, you know, several minutes into, uh, into the episode, you know, and I believe the first thing he said was that that was a lie, it was after, I guess that was, it kind of said, like, that was, like, his shogi instructor or something like that, because we've seen the pictures or whatever, and I guess he had two other friends when he was younger, um, that he referenced was like, hey, you know, uh, they're, they're kind of worried about you, and he was like, that's a lie, so I'm not sure exactly what's kind of going on there, um, with that, but he definitely is, is carrying some type of, some type of weight with him, and, and you can tell that it's eating at him, uh, it's eating at him pretty damn harsh, because, I mean, you know, he's living by himself, and that's not the issue. He's got, looks like he's got a nice little, nice little pad. He's got a beautiful view, but when he wakes up and when he does whatever he's done, doing as far as getting dressed or going anywhere, he's not doing with any enthusiasm. He just keeps, seems like he's almost dead to the damn world, and that's why I made that remark uh, during the beginning of the episode in the live reaction, I was like, it almost seems as if he doesn't fucking exist, like, he's just walking, and as if he's like a ghost, you know, and everybody doesn't really kind of see him, uh, you know, in, in a sense, and he's just like, I don't know, just walking about in a sense, but, you know, uh, but fast forwarding to, uh, the sisters again, they, they seem to at least bring some type of uh, light or life to him, you know, that was the first time that he started smiling and shit when he got with them, you know, they, uh, they, they, they seemed to like him a lot and they wanted to bring him, you know, they have him over for dinner and, and stuff like that, so whatever it is, uh, uh, they, they are, they have a relationship with him that, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a relationship that seems to be, well, definitely built off of, uh, off of their family being, um, I guess, kind of good with his family at a time or something, or, or just being good, uh, with him, and maybe, you know, they're just trying to, 
um, make sure that he's doing okay, looking after him and stuff like that, you know. Um, but but yeah, the uh, the three sisters, they um, their grandpa seems to own like his own shop or whatever, and selling food and shit. So yeah, I mean, it it, it, it seems uh, seems cool so far. I mean, I, I I did enjoy what I watched. And the, the the dreams that he has is like, whoa, like, what the hell? Like, I mean, e- even they had the sense that, you know, he was drowning and, and stuff like that. You can, you can, you can hear the water and the, and the bubbles and stuff like, you know, like, whatever his burden is, is really heavy on him, you know, and... It's probably keeping him from moving forward and even expressing himself to other people outside of the people that he knows already. Um, But, I mean, you know, I guess we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what's going on here. Um, But, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, You know, going to check it out next week, see what's good. And uh, I'm pretty sure as this goes on, um, it's going to be pretty interesting because it already kind of is. It's pretty interesting to to see exactly what's going to be going on with this guy because he, I mean, he is a professional shogi player and he's 17, you know, like, hmm, like, you know, like, how did he even get to that point? I mean, I guess, yeah, he did have a teacher or whatever, but like, what got him interested in it? Um, and it doesn't even really seem like he was enjoying playing, like, so why is he still playing, you know, but, hey, I guess these are just questions that I have right now, but, um, let me know what you guys thought about the episode, man, leave your comments below, of course, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, so you know my videos go live on Shampoo, this is Anime Central, and I'll holler at y'all later, and as always, Thanks for watching. Peace out. Growing up, I was always worthless. A talented someone that is rather worthless. Something's wrong with my brain, a short circuit. Hopefully one day my dream and quirk will surface uh-huh. In a world where heroes are born in worship Heroes and villains fight to achieve their purpose yeah. I daydream dream